Yeah, today we're launching out of Key West, uh, just east of the White Street Pier, my little hideout launch. An extremely beautiful day out in the Key West. Winds are way down. And when the wind's down, then the clarity is immaculate. So we're going to be heading out to the reef just to do a little bit of playing around. Um, it's already 4 o'clock, so I'm running really late. But uh, since I launched from Key West, that saves me about a half an hour drive out to the Geiger area and then a half an hour back. So in the end, it works out okay. Not too bad. Wide Street Pier. That's where I catch all those tarpon at nighttime is right along that edge there. But let's get out there. the reef line to put some chum out and see what's happening and I'm going to be keeping an eye out for uh, bird action just past me and if I see any down I'm going to cut loose and go chase some uh, fish out that way but otherwise there's schools of bait fish under me already so we're going to see what they're up to. I'm marking what looks like a bait school underneath me so I'm going to drop my bait catching rig usually for pinfish and stuff and unweighted it would be for ballyhoo but I'm just going to see what's underneath there drop it down oh there it goes something hit it stolen already yeah I'm using this little number 12 hook which is they might be a little bit too big for it all right finally got one so I'm gonna drop this dude down to the bottom see what is down there I've got a knocker rig already set up nose hook them To the bottom it goes. Let's see what is down there, if anything. Now I want to catch one more of those and use for chunk bait as well. There we go. It's like a damn shark. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Not what I wanted. Oh, bastards. I want my hook back at least. Little dude ate that big bait. You're all tired out. All I want is my hook back. 
The weight is all I want, really. There he goes. Oh. This guy out there and working for us. Not another damn shark. Ah, big mangrove. That's what we're looking for is the spawning of mangroves. Big old fat guy. Man, you swallowed it, didn't you? Let me see. Alright. Well, we are doing catch and release today, so this guy gets to live another day. I think something's got it. There he goes. Oh, rock me up. Damn you. No, oh, come on out of there. Come on out. There we go. Got him out. Oh, fuck. Another bottom dwelling creature. Not a lot of fight to it. Oh, damn it. Cuda got him. That was my nice mangrove. There's the cuda, fucker. Finish it off, you asshole. Just don't take my hook. There's no hook on it. Go ahead and grab it, little bastard. You did it. Got it. Don't have the hook though. <laughs> Where are you going with it? Asshole. Damn it. Waiting, got the yellow tail rod out. And I think target species acquired there. There's a nice one. In case anyone is interested, that would be yellow tail snapper sperm. Happy days for a few freaks. 
All right, yellowtail rig to deploy. Just got a yellowtail jig going out there and just free line it back into the chum line. And then set the hook and feels like a yellow tail. Yep, there it goes. And he gets to keep the jig. Playing catch and release today, so everything goes back. <laughs> Yellow tail on the bottom rig. Dang it. All right, let me give a quick synopsis of the day. Uh, originally, I had planned to uh, go to the uh, backcountry, but checking the uh, forecast this morning, the, uh, the calmest day ended up jumping one day ahead. I thought it was going to be tomorrow, but it actually uh, cleared up today. So instead of missing that, I decided to come out to the Atlantic side and hit the reefs. I uh, got a really late start because I had stuff to do this morning and midday. So uh, I decided to launch right out of Key West uh, instead of going up to Geiger and hitting my normal spots. So I ran out here, he went to the Topino's buoy area and just uh, ended up between the main reef and then the outside bar. I marked a lot of bait, uh, tons of bait, so that's where I ended up anchoring up and staying. A uh, lot of action, just all those yellow tails were everywhere. Couldn't get away from them. Uh, the uh, using those speedos or those little mackerels that we were catching were excellent. Uh, that was the right way to go. I, it just took a while to adjust for them. Um, I should have brought my other rod. I only brought my one spinner, heavy duty one. I should have brought my other one, but uh, and I should have uh, stockpiled a bunch of those to use for fresh cut bait. Because the only bait that I actually had were these. Uh, dolphin fillet skins when I flayed out the uh, mahi mahi so didn't have the best bait to go after uh, I thought those things would hang around till the end but uh, halfway through they just jetted and then after that I was just surrounded by these just barely legal to undersize the yellow tails so that just chewed everything up uh, it was a lot of action pack had one mystery monster I'm sure it was probably a big shark uh, but uh, it was non-stop uh, I think I'm gonna I kept one of the uh, yellow jacks to do a quick uh, catch and cook 
sashimi maybe, some fried fish. So we'll see. But that's it. I'm going to run back in. I think I was out here for two hours and uh, it was good. Uh, we'll see what tomorrow holds. Might come back out here again. Might have to go out and uh, hit the blue water, but we'll see.